Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I have an exciting one because I didn't think that I was gonna film this video quite as soon, but I'm happy that I'm doing these projects and getting excited to reach out for my products and then rotating them and then doing sort of a project pan, project progress type of video. So this is gonna be an update on the Panda palette, Frankie palette, video. So last time that I did a Panda palette for my eyeshadows, I showed you guys that I was going to do something different. So I chose an eyeshadow palette that I created myself, which are called Frankie palettes. And I said that I wanted to heat pan in one of the shades of the palette and I didn't mind which one it was, but I heat pan in two shades and I'm so excited. Those past videos the eyeshadow that I was wearing was one that I ended up hitting pan on and to be quite honest I've been so into wearing um, cool tone shadows, pinky and cool tone brown colors that it excites me because I've been always a warm tone type of person. You can see me today wearing a little bit of um, an orangey um, a glitter and an orangey shade but I also wore Pillow Talk from um, Charlotte Tilbury. So it's always something for me. I love pinkies, but I always tend to go towards orange. And now I'm going more towards cool tones. And that's exciting. So if you want to see how the Frankie palette looks like, and if you want to see the eyeshadows that I've hit pan on it, then just keep on watching. Okay, guys. So last time that I did this video, I decided to go for a... Uh, nine pan um c palette the small one that i love to use these i take with me when i want to travel and i want to switch it up and i mixed a little bit of Too face i mixed um color pop um what else natasha denona and makeup geek and the truth is that i made a ton of progress in one natasha denona shade or two shades and then i never used the glitter except for today that I'm wearing it. And I hit pan in two shades and expanded a little bit of the pan in the only shade that already had pan in it. The mattes with Natasha Denona are really hard to finish, but they're beautiful to work with, and I adore them. I find that no other matte performs as her mattes do. And even people mention ColourPop and ColourPop eyeshadows, they, I like them a lot, but they are not as amazing as Natasha Denona shadows. So for me, it's something. It's a matter of what I, I'm allowing myself to purchase and I'm allowing myself to come into my life. And I love a lot of things. I love abundance, but it's just that ColourPop shadows, the ones that I bought last year, they didn't get my heart beating faster. And even though when I got them, I was so excited for them and I found a few shades that were amazing. I don't know. They're just not all that I was expecting. So Natasha Denona shadows are just my favorite right now. Anyway, with ABH, but Natasha Denona shadows are like 10,000 times better. And I'm in love with creating my own palette with the palettes that I already own from her. So this is how the palette is looking like. The first eyeshadow is the Too Faced shadow that I removed from a Too Faced and Sephora palette. Then the second one is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek, which I love. You guys can see the pan that it has. And I'm happy that she uh, did a new uh, release of the brand. Then the glitter is the one that I have today. I think it's Renegade. Then you can see the dip in the dark brown um, eyeshadow from Natasha Denona. And then you can see the pan that I hit right here on this eyeshadow. But you can also see the dip right here on this Natasha Denona shadow. So I'm really excited because I think this eyeshadow, I'm going to have pan on it pretty soon because this is one of my favorites. Um, this is from the Sunset Palette and I truly adore the shade of it. It's really pretty. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. So you guys can see it right there. But the color that I've been loving is this one. You can see how it has sort of a pinky hue to it, but it's a brown eyeshadow. 
And then the matte that I use the most is this pinky one. And it's the one right here on my pinky. I love this shade. I just love it. And these two paired together, I adore. So using this palette uh, meant the world to me. But like I said, I, I'm setting up a small goal. And then after I reach the goals, I just want to rotate my palette or I want to rotate the items from my collection because I don't want my collection of eyeshadows to just be left behind and get unused. If I keep the palettes, I want to use them all. I don't want to just focus on one palette. So the faster I reach a goal in a palette, the faster I want to just move on to the next one to reach another goal. So yeah, this is going to be done. I'm going to just uh, pull it apart like a Frankenstein because someone asked me what a Frankie palette meant and it's just a Frankenstein palette. It's uh, I kill other palettes or I grab pieces of other palettes uh, just to create a brand new one. So yeah, this is going to be gone but I truly enjoyed it and now I have something that I've been wanting and I've been checking trend mood and stuff and most of the time I don't even want anything. I've been eyeing the Natasha Denona palette and I've been eyeing a few other things like the Rosewood from Dior that they released today, the Lip Glow. I would love to have every shade of lip glow that they release because I love them. The regular formula. I think they discontinued the matte one because it's so bad. Um, it's one that I'm trying to use um, on, my, on one of my project pants. So, but one thing that I've been obsessed with since I love um, eyeshadow palettes. It's the Dominique Cosmetics Latte too. Since I don't want to just purchase things because I know I will be able to purchase that if I get a lot of people to ask for makeup, for me to purchase makeup to do the personal shopping service that I do and I get points, I can just redeem them towards the Dominique uh, Latte 2 palette. But I've been thinking that I never reach for my latte one, which is my favorite. And then definitely the lemonade one, I never reach for it, even though it's pretty. So the eyeshadow palette that I wanted to put in to replace this Frankie palette is the Dominique Latte palette. I'm going to show it to you right here. I don't know why one eyeshadow broke because maybe I put it on my kit and, you know, kits are always hard to manage. So I don't want it to fall off. Okay, it's not. And I have here this beautiful palette that I never use. And I've been using it uh, yesterday and today. And what I want to do is I want to erase the DC from at least two shades. So I don't want to hit pan on it because this eyeshadow palette, it doesn't have pans, it has pools. All I want to do is just erase the DC in two shades. I know caramel is going to be doable because I love that as a transition shade. And I love macchiato, creme brulee, vanilla cream, mocha, and espresso is more of an olive cool tone eyeshadow. This one right here. So I'm thinking about just doing that and see how it feels. I know the shades of the Latte 2 are calling my name more than this one, but I still want to get a feel for something that I already purchased and I felt like I needed in my life and I haven't used um, a lot since I purchased it instead of just purchasing the new thing without knowing if I'm going to really truly use it. So yeah, that's my goal for this palette and this is going to be my baby for this upcoming month. And as soon as I use this uh, DC logo off, I'll be switching up to a new palette. Maybe I will even travel with this one next month. We'll see. And that's it, you guys. That's it for this video. Just put something as an emoji today related to either hazelnut, caramel, or mocha. You choose, just put the emoji and let me know which one did you choose. You can put anything you want. You guys are always creative with the emojis and I love that about you guys. So that's it for this video guys. That's the update on the Panda Palette series and I'm pretty excited for it. I can't wait to see my palettes at the end of the year and see how much pan I've hit. And 
Also, stay tuned. I don't know if I already posted it, but my Panda Face Palette, it's also going to be up pretty soon. That's it, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I love you. I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.